guys and welcome to Gems Flora Studio, the Academy. And today we are going to be having some serious floral fun. Basically, I'm going to teach you how to make and wrap a Korean style bouquet. So, let's get into it. Right guys, it's now time to get serious without giving you PTSD of those school years. Um, I'm going to come around and show you everything that we're going to use today. I'm just looking at that back and I look like a giant, but I'm actually not. This is like really low ceilings. I think it's like 5'11 or something. And I am actually 5'4, so don't you worry about that. I am not a giant. So let's get into it. So I have got... 16 white Naomi roses, so they've got large heads and they're very scented. Then we have got six sunflowers. They're quite small because it's going in like a, a flat compact bouquet. I can hear them talking downstairs. And then we've got both stems of this lovely Pittosporum. Then we're just going to need some cellophane scissors, floristry scissors. We're gonna need some floristry wire. It doesn't really matter what gauge it is, just as long as it's at least 30 centimeters. We're gonna need some of our satin or silk ribbon and your sellotape dispenser. Now, to make a Korean style bouquet, you need Korean style wrapping paper, which is completely different from your normal floristry cellophane roll. This is like quality, so it doesn't like bend or anything like that. It's easy to cut. They come in like rectangle shapes. And the best place to get these are Alibaba, but it does take ages and sometimes you have to pay taxes on it. Don't make the same mistake that I did. I bought a load in bulk and then got hit with basically the same price in tax and I didn't realise, so I never did it again. But I have found somebody in England that ships to you. It takes like two days to come. Um, Luxury Wrapping Limited. I will link them in the description below. And this is a must. They come in all different colours. They're already pre-cut, so they're all good to go. And they come in like ombres. They are stunning. So here is a top tip for this video. Sunflowers love to go droopy. If they are not in sunlight, if they're left in the door room, they'll just droop. Or if they are in a room that's got a lot of natural sunlight that's coming through, they will go to the direction, their heads will go to the direction of where the sun's facing. So to be able to manipulate these, we're going to wire them. So basically what I do is, one second, my phone's ringing in. So basically all you need to do is get your wire and put it through the top of the stem where the head meets the edge of the stem just so you can see it just popping out a little bit here so you don't want it fully showing so just pop it back down and all you have to do is just like how you wire a gerber or a gemini and you just wrap it round like this all the way to where the wire ends and then it's dead easy just to manipulate the head then and it will stay straight like this so with our cellophane all we're going to want to do is fold our two ends just off center so not put, don't put it like right near the center here and then we're just going to use our sellotape to just secure it like so then what i like to do is just base the bottom of the bouquet because it's going to be a flat bouquet with the foliage first, just make sure that you're still using that spiral technique. It's a bit harder when it's a flat bouquet 
and you're doing it more at an angle rather than upright but it's easier as you do go along so I'm just going to use all this pitosporum first right so and then we have got a lovely base for our flowers to then sit on and it will make it more secure it's just like making a funeral sheath it's the same principle okay so then we're going to go in with our white, white roses making sure the first one you put in is at the highest point okay still keeping in that spiral and then basically you just come like a level down with the next one you put that one there and then just keep basically layering all your roses on top of each other but coming down a level so it's got like a more of a diamond shape at the top okay then i'm just gonna add another one here so there are 16 of these lovely white naomi roses and then i'm going to start coming in with the sunflowers so as you can see i'm still holding my hand here making sure that it is in the spiral shape and again keep layering them because you don't want it to look like a big lump make sure all the flowers are nicely distributed and as you can see the foliage the pittosporum is coming through the actual arrangement as well as well as securing it at the back and making it keep that lovely shape Now, once you get into the bottom, you don't want it to be really bottom heavy with the roses. So I've got three left, so I'm just gonna slot them in going from the top, just to make sure all the flowers are nicely distributed. Just be very careful. Then I'm gonna just find any sort of gap that I can find. Still keeping that spiral. Put that on there bring that foliage down a little bit and then that one there and then you can actually see here that, that is a lovely steady arrangement and the stems are nice and long so they're all going to fit into the vase as well then I'll try and turn this round to you so you can see so what I like to do, I like to get a bit of raffia, but some people use uh, poly ribbon or zip ties, just to fully secure at the binding point so the flowers aren't going to move once you are happy with the display. So I'm just going around the binding point here, making sure it's nice and tight, because you want it tight, not, not necessarily in like a hand tie bouquet, because you'd want to move things around but this arrangement needs to stay like that, so as tight as possible. I'll just do another knot as well. And then just snip that off. Now, basically, all we're gonna to wanna to be doing next is make sure you can see the top of your cellophane here. It's got a nice little pattern on here that it's lovely to see. Okay, then we're just gonna take the bottom of the cellophane round the binding point. Close it there and put a bit of sellotape on it to secure. Then I do just like to equally distribute my colors. So with the next layer, we're just going to cut this one in half. We don't need it as big. And then basically we're just going to fold it again off centre so it doesn't cover the whole fold. 
there's still a little bit at the end showing. Then we're just going to get our sellotape and put a little bit on near the bottom. And then we're just going to get our bouquet and just do the same and wrap it round the binding point so that it comes out more than the first layer. So you've got a layer here. And just to secure it with some sellotape. Then we can do it round the other side as well. And then I'm just going to go around the back to make sure the back's nice and secure as well. So I've got a bit of solid tape on around the back as well. And then basically you just need to continue doing this until you get to the bottom and the cellophane sizes are getting smaller and layered at each point. really need to make sure the cellophane isn't hiding any of the flowers so do make sure our top of the cellophane is at the bottom of the heads of the flowers but still covering the stems so exactly the same principle satin ribbon so just make sure you've got about a meter's worth of ribbon just cut it off at the end and what I like to do is just scrunch where the binding point is like so get the middle of your ribbon and then just go around a couple of times So, to just hide any of the binding point and the wrinkles. And then all you have to do then is just make a cute little bow. Like so, and then just cut the ends evenly. And here we have our Korean style bouquet and wrapped. So then what we've got to do, so sometimes when I pick it up, like these bits come away from it. So we're just going to use some more sellotape, we haven't already used enough. And just stick those little bits just to the back so it stays nice and steady. Then as you can see, we've still got a lot of stems and this is because we haven't trimmed them down yet. So you want them all a similar sort of length so they're all getting the same amount of water sources. Because this is a bouquet of different levels, the bottom ones will get more water than the top. So we need to make sure they were all level so they've all got a better chance of drinking and having a longer life. So as I always say, cut every single stem. individually at a 45 degree angle and even if it's little shorter stems they need to be cut as well they all need to be recut even the woody stems even though it takes a bit of pressure to do so but it's always good to keep all those flowers looking fresh so I think that's a nice length for all the stems to be and they are nicely covered by the cellophane skirt. And here she is in all her glory. Now if you did like this video, 
please like, comment and subscribe so we can keep making more of these useful videos for you. And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.